Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll essentially help beginners or anybody who wants to get started with Apache Hoodie creating transactional data like using AWS EMR. In this video, a step-by-step -step guide, I'll essentially guide you how to create a VPC, subnet, internet gateway, then launch your first EMR cluster, configure it with Apache Hori, and create your essentially first Hello World um, Apache Hori data lake. So this is a step-by-step -step video where I'll be essentially walking you over the installation guide. So without wasting further time, let's get started. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I have a full step-by-step -step, uh, guide here, which has everything listed here, right? So in case if you miss a certain steps, please refer to this guide. So the first step is we need to create a VPC. I'm on uh, the VPC console, click on your VPC, click on the orange button. And here you want to type the name as EMR VPC. And in the CIDR block here, you want to say, again, let me just refer my notes quickly. Uh, we want to say 172.32.00.16. So we're going to type that. All right, so I've done that. And then here I'll leave it to default. And after that, you want to click on create VPC. The next step is we need to create an internet gateway. So let's see how to do that. Uh, on the right hand side, you will see an option called internet gateway. Click on the orange button and give it a name. We're going to say um, EMR IGW stands for internet gateway. Click on create. And once you're done, come to internet gateway. And here you will see the status is detached. Detach. Now what you want to do is you want to say attach to a VPC. Select the VPC that we created and click on attach. Now after creating an internet gateway, we need to attach that to the route table. So let's see how to do that. So the next step is basically you want to go to the route tables over here on the right hand side. And in the route section, here you can see I do not have an internet gateway. I'm going to click on edit route, click on add, and I'm going to add 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. And here I'll say internet gateway. Um, so somewhere the, let me see. So yeah, internet gateway. And here you can see, I can see my internet gateway. Click here and click on save changes. Now what we need to do is basically we need to create a public subnet. So I'm gonna walk you over the steps. Go to subnet, click on add subnet, select your VPC and give it a name EMR public subnet. And basically over here, we'll essentially put a, uh, just wanna refer what I entered last time. So 172.32.00 slash 16. So I'm going to put that 172.32.00 slash 16. Oops, I think I was typing 172.32. And uh, that's great. And the name is EMR public subnet. And then I'm going to click on create subnet. At this point, we are all set. Now we can create our EMR cluster. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you over the steps. I'm on the EMR console. Uh, there are two views. You can uh, go to the new view. I'll choose the old one because it's more comfortable, right? Now I'm gonna click on create and actually I'll be heading over to the advanced uh, settings uh, over here. And then here I'm gonna select the latest version of EMR that is 6.9.0. And over here I'm gonna select Hadoop 3.3, Jupyter 1.4.1, um, you can select Hive. I don't need uh, Hue. Then I'm going to select Spark. And I need a Jupyter Enterprise Gateway for um, just select that because we're going to uh, create our Apache hoodie in the Jupyter Notebook. Okay. So once that is done, um, then what we need to do is basically uh, this section can be uh, default. You don't have to select anything here. Click Next. Now here you, you should see your VPC and here you can select a public subnet. Uh, after that, I'll choose one core node, right? I don't need a task, so I need, I have a master and a core, right? And if you observe, I'm gonna pay about $0.192 per uh, hour. But if I opt, opt in for spot instances, it will take 0 0.040, right? It's much more cheaper spot instances. But for now, on demand is great. I just wanted to let you know, right? Uh, after that, uh, everything else, you can leave it to default, click on next. And uh, now we need to generate an EC2 key pair, right? So what we are going to do is we're going to head over to the EC2. And then here you can see an option called key pair and then click on create, type it a name and click on create and download that. I've already done that. So again, just wanted to walk you over that. Now, this is important. So um, basically, yeah, this is okay. We're going to click next. And here you want to select that key pair. I, I'm, I'm, I already have it, so I'm going to select it. This is very important, okay? If you mess up here, it's going to be a problem. 
uh, then here in the uh, as you can see we're gonna let um, you know EMR create the you know uh, security groups right so I'm gonna click on create cluster at this point this can take literally about 15 to 20 minutes so you want to just sit back relax and enjoy I'm gonna resume once this is uh, done so here is here you can see it's in the starting state once it is complete I'll resume the video Finally, my cluster is ready about 10 more 10 minutes approximately waiting means it's done. So that doesn't mean that it's um, Still not done, right? It is done, right? So now what we need to do is basically spin up a notebook So I'm gonna click on the notebook and I'm gonna type Hori over here and then here I'm gonna say choose a cluster I'm gonna click here and then rest everything to default and I'm gonna click on create notebook uh, while my notebook is almost ready now, if you observe uh, the notebook here, you can see it's created. You can open it up on a new tab, but we need to do certain settings right now. And hence, I'm going to head over to the EC2. And basically what we need to do is we need to SSH into the master uh, node. Okay. So if you go to the instances and here you will see, uh, if you scroll, uh, scroll over here somewhere, there should be a description that says here. So here, if you observe, that's my master where I need to log in, right? So if I click here, again, you won't be able to connect or SSH if you click on connect and if you try, it's not going to work. We need to do, um, we need to do a, a small tweak here. So I'm going to head over to the security and then I'm going to click on the first one. And then what I need to do is uh, where it says inbound, I'm going to come down and just for now, I'm just going to say um, all traffic and I'll simply say anywhere. Right. I'm going to click on save route. That's great. Now, I think that should allow me to connect to the EC2 machine. So if I now go back to my dashboard, so if I go to EC2 instances, and now if I come here, click on connect, and then here you want to say as Hadoop, this is important. Okay, not root click on connect. And basically I should be able to connect. Um, here you can see I'm now connected. Almost done. There are just two more commands that we need to run to uh, uh, get our hoodie up and running. So the first one, we're going to run this one. Again, these will be there in the uh, word file step by step guide. So I'm going to run the first command and then I'll essentially run the second command. Okay. And here you go. That's it. Now what we need to do is we can head over to the notebook and essentially do our hello world project. So I'm coming here to the notebook section. I'm going to click on open in a notebook and this should essentially open my Jupyter lab. And now we can essentially perform our first hello world exercise uh, with Apache hoodie on EMR. All right. So now it's piece of cake, right? So over here in the cell one, we are essentially defining uh, the configuration. And then here I'm essentially creating a very simple data frame three and four. Uh, here you can see I'm creating a spark data frame and if it's a little hard to see for you guys, I'll leave the code. Okay, so don't worry. So again, a very simple spark data frame, right? And now what we're going to do is basically I'm defining my record key precom. Here is my path to my data lake. And again, if you see the data lake, there's nothing uh, in here, right? And then what I'm going to do is essentially uh, I am going to write the data frame to the S3 uh, as a format as hoodie. I'm doing an overwrite. You can then essentially append uh, you could do a bulk insert you could do all, all that stuff right now this might take about a second or two right and uh, once you come to the data like and if you refresh now you can see you have a folder you have a hoodie metadata and pretty soon you will also have those parquet files uh, or the data files as we call right so here you can see the data files have essentially came here is my hoodie metadata and essentially my parquet or, or you know uh, base files right now very very important beginners please make sure to terminate the cluster otherwise you'll get hefty charges okay so what we're gonna do is i'm um, now we're gonna cover up the termination process so uh, basically head over to your emr i have it somewhere here i don't know where exactly is that but i'm gonna head over to the emr and i'm gonna stop everything now so i'm gonna come to the notebook and then i'll essentially say stop over here this you you also have to stop the cluster so now click on the cluster and click on terminate so we're gonna change, click on off and terminate. And now you have terminated the cluster as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this guide and I hope this guide will help beginners or anybody who wants to get started with Apache Hoodie and Data Lakes uh, on EMR, right? So now you don't have to waste time on Stack Overflow and GitHub to figure out what's, what version of Hadoop or what version of Spark, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You can follow this video and essentially this will help you to get started with Apache Hoodie and EMR in a fun and an easy way. 
and now as you can see right there will be a return guide as well which will help you to again uh, now focus your attention more towards our uh, learning rather than configuration with that being said please make sure to like subscribe and share the video to the people whom you think will find value in this and if you have any more question list your question in the comment section with that being said keep smiling keep programming and see you guys in the upcoming next video